Hello. Welcome to episode 12 of the Feather Stitches podcast. Yeah. I am Heather. I'm Becky. You can find us on Instagram. I'm at quilt crazy. At Millie Me. And we have a Ravelry group now. Mm-hmm. Um, Feather Stitches podcast Ravelry group. So if you yeah. could join that, that would be great. Um, we have an email too. But yeah. I never remember what it is. Feather Stitches podcast at gmail.com. Yes, if you need to reach us, you can reach us there. The best way, though, is to just search us on Instagram Instagram, and private message us that way, and then we can see those. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. Welcome. It's June 28th today. School is out. Yes. So all the kids are here playing (laughs) and watching the little babies, and there's nine kids in total, because Becky now has... How many kids do you got? Six now. Six kids. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So they took... On a new little four-year-old. Three. Oh, three. Yeah, he'll be four in August. Yeah. So. Oh, okay, he's almost four. Almost, yes. yes. It's a three-year-old boy. Yeah. So they've added him to the family, and you're a busy mama. Yeah, it's going really well, though. He's a super great kid, so. That's yeah. good. We've That's good. Fun. He's in awe of my boys, because, you know, older boys, they always like the fascination in playing together, and it's been great, so. It might be a little noisy. Do we have today. kids coming upstairs? <laughs> we'll see how it goes today. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, because school's out. So we just thought, okay, why not just podcast today? We were thinking of doing it on yesterday. Yeah. Then it just didn't work out, and it's kind of it was one of those days where it's kind of like let's just enjoy the calm before the storm. Yes, one last day of semi quiet at home before two months of children. Yes. Yeah, Yeah. exactly. So, I guess we could get into some knitting, hey? Yeah, let's dive in. Do you? I don't have a ton to show. I have a couple FOs, but I've been pretty monogamous in my knitting the last little while. So, and I had cast onitis. So, yeah. Well, I'll start with what I'm wearing. Okay. Because I talked about it last time, but it was still on the blocking mat, so I didn't actually show it. This is my. Oops, it's long. This is my kiss scarf by Cozy Up Designs. And this is done in um, Pima Cotton from Creek Garden Crafts. And it's just one long scarf. But it's so fun for the summer. See, it just keeps going and going. <laughs> and then fun little tassels on the end. Oh, that's nice. So yeah, it was just, it was a one skein pattern. And it's so beautiful for the summer. It's nice and light. Do you know the colorway? Um, no. I think it's like Grello or something like that. Oh, that the ball yeah, that sounds like it. That's right. I think it's something like that. Nice. Yeah, so it's just a fun, it was a fun little pattern. It didn't take me long to do, and I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah, it was a fun little pattern, so. Nice. That's one FO. So I finished my socks. They were oh, these are so pretty. a half object. Or no, I guess I'd start the second one. But yeah. Yeah, so here they are. The blueberry waffle pattern. Oh, yeah, look at that pattern. They look awesome love them yeah so they're a little snug so I'm, i haven't blocked them they've just been on the blockers on these but i need to wet them block them and i'm hoping they kind of grow yeah it's that ripped pattern they also grow yeah. a little bit once you wear them like they're yeah they're a little tight to put on but they often will stretch out a bit while you're while you're actually wearing them so which is nice yeah. i'm just That's always the- worried that like i'm wondering if i need to be going up a size like because i do 64 stitches on a size 2.25 millimeter oh okay but I, if I block it, try it. But I'm wondering if I should try 68 on that size needle. You should try a pair and just start, like, do toe up so that you can try them on and see yeah. how they fit. Yeah. Because then you don't I have to I usually get, do toe up. Toe up are my favorite. You don't have to get too far before you can try them on and then see. Oh, there's fuzz in the air today. So I'm going to give you... <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's why I need to finish those socks. So we're trading, so now you get the leftovers to make yourself Yay. a pair of socks. So there this you go. This is the iced berries set from Polka Dot Creek. Yeah. So you get two minis and then a Good tonal. full skein of the tonal. So, yeah, that's fun. Do you have yours to fun, show? Fun, Do you fun. have your work in progress? I haven't, I haven't oh, you worked haven't. on them oh, in okay. a long time. Okay. I've been, I was very monogamous with my Yeah, you've knitting. had some bigger projects. So, yes. So I have another FO, which I'm so excited about. I just blocked this one just last week on Friday, I think. So this is the Surge Shawl by Lisa Much, or Northbound Knitting. 
and this pattern was, it was fantastic. It was mindless, but at the same time, all the different short rows and color changes and everything, it kept you engaged in the pattern. And I could take this everywhere with me because I could just, it was just straight garter. So you can just pick it up, put it down wherever. So this is, I was hauling this everywhere working on it. Oh, I so, love it. This is um, the Zombies colorway by Lolo Did It. And then this is Graphite by Hedgehog Fibers. And this is just a single. Um, but yeah, I love this. And I'm so excited to get to wear it. I haven't worn it out yet because the last couple days have been hot. But this next week, it's supposed to be cooler weather. So I'm excited to have some shawl wearing weather. I have to try it on. Oh, So I was kind of surprised because in on Lisa's pattern, the way she has it, Hers is really long and narrower. Oh. Whereas mine had more of a more of a curve to it. It's mine. Now. And it wasn't nearly as <laughs> the rest of the podcast. Uh, it wasn't nearly as long, so I'll put this one back on. Then. We don't show the cleavage that way. <laughs> Hide some things. Let's have some, you know, modesty here, ladies. <laughs> Yeah, so oh, I, yeah. This is so nice. I'm going to have to make one. Okay, so for the wraps, do you have to do like a wrap and turn for uh, your short rows? Yes. Or do you just turn and go? No, you do a wrap and turn, but you don't have to pick up the wraps. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I have to figure that out. It's easy. Yeah, I did do my Pure Joy shawl, and that had, I think it was wrap, turn... Wrap and, turn. wrap and turns. Yeah, probably. But maybe I don't. I didn't pick them up. I don't know. It turned out fine, but then I had issues with my bendy arrow to wrap and turns, and I don't know what I did wrong. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. short rows can be. They can be tricky, but. Yeah. I found those ones to be really simple. I just love all the different like. Yeah. Stripes like you see and, so yeah. much color in it. There's lots of just activity going on with stripes, which is really fun. Yeah, it's fun. I'll enjoy it for now. Yeah. And I love it's nice and light too. Like it's, it's so not, light. Yeah. Yeah. And squishy like it's because it's the garter squish, yeah, right? The garter squish. Oh, so yes. nice. Good so job. Hide my cleavage. <laughs> not that we have a lot to hide, but you know. <laughs> we'll pretend. But you know. So I don't think I showed this hat last week. I made another I made a hat to show where it was mostly purple on the top. Yeah. So this is Skyfall by Knit Knits and Nax on Instagram. And so I just had a tiny bit of purple left, so I just decided just to do the two rows of purple. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I have such a big head. I need to do some alterations to the pattern. It's not the pattern, it's my head, but I just need to make sure I start adding a few more rows just to make it a little bit uh, longer. Before the color work? Yeah. Well, no, like I already added an extra row of ribbing on the pattern. Oh, okay. But I think I need to add a couple more rows. I find it doesn't want to quite cover the ears oh, okay so that's that one that's really cute because i was just wanting like instant gratification of bulky knits so oh yeah so fun and i did Get that done it's quick. just you do it in an afternoon like it's so that's easy awesome. so then i went to michael's and found some red oh it's so pretty i love this one too it kind of is like canada day i know it's not this... that i'll wear it on canada day but... <laughs> well you might if this weather keeps <laughs> that's true it's gonna been... be rainy this weekend so i could yeah. wear this out this weekend but i have to block it because this one is even tighter Ooh. yeah for those of you in the states that don't know we have canada day on the on the first of july you guys celebrate on the fourth of july we're on the first of july so airdrie always has a parade and there you go they have a rodeo and stuff in town and so how do you go to the rodeo are you going I haven't bought tickets, but I've been thinking about going. I've never gone to the rodeo in Airdrie. I went a couple years ago. I have gone. It's fun. They always have yeah. stuff to do for the kids out of the grounds, too. They have, like, a little kids area with bouncy castles and stuff like that. So Does it go till Sunday? I think so. I'm sure it does. So it might maybe, even go till Monday. Maybe then if we don't go to the cabin, then maybe we'll go, Sunday go to the rodeo. Months. Yeah. I don't know which day is busier, because with Sunday, lots of people do the parade, and then they go to the rodeo afterwards. Yeah, it'd so, probably be busier, best probably. to go tonight, <laughs> or tomorrow night, but tomorrow probably. night. We're doing a birthday party for my mother-in-law, oh, and then great. Saturday morning, we're doing a, have something in my eye. It's all this fuzz floating oh, around from is. our hats. <laughs> oh. 
Saturday morning, we're doing an impromptu birthday party for my son. Oh. It was the last minute. Right. I need to remember that. Yeah. Bring your kid, please. We don't have very many numbers. going. <laughs> yes, he needs to be there. That's uh, Weston's bestie, so he needs yes, to be there. Yes, of course. So we're just going to do, we were going to do street hockey and face painting and hot dogs and food and whatever, but it's supposed to rain, so. The boys might not care. Yeah. It's hard to say. We might still send them outside and then, but we'll still do face painting and. That'll be fun. I have to still plan that. I need to do that this afternoon. <laughs> Party's at 11 o'clock on Saturday morning. I don't have time to plan before then. I need everything for the last minute. I know, me too. And I have to get stuff picked up for my mother-in-law's birthday party too, so. It's a busy weekend for you. Yep. <laughs> it's been a busy month, but. Oh yes, June. Yeah, back to my new job. Well, working multiple jobs, but yeah, back to the hospital working with the babies, so... Right. Um, that, I worked a lot of shifts this month for that. Mm-hmm. And then the kids go to camp in a week. Like, one and a half weeks they go to camp. My kid, two younger ones. Mm-hmm. So that'll be fun. I'll oh, be down two kids. So, yeah. Anyways. Nice. So, yeah, that's my other... My other... That's my last finished object. These two hats, easy peasy. Skyfall pattern. Go look it up. Yeah. Get yourself a pattern. I think she has awesome. a buy one, get one right now on oh, her hat cool. patterns. It could be done, but I think she might still have it on for a little bit longer. Yeah, it's a great time to buy some of her hat patterns. I want to do her moose. Well, and she has this beautiful Canada hat. Oh, really? So it says Canada on the bottom, and then there's um, maple leaves with color work. Beautiful. Fun. So I'd love to do that one too. Yeah. Hey, I'll have that? to make some of those. So what's on your needles? Well, I only have one whip, so maybe you <laughs> should show yours because you have many. I have a full table here. Okay. Like I said, I've been monogamous. I switched from this one, or from that one, to this one, so. Which is good. I haven't even worked on my sweater in the That's last nice. little while. Do you have your colors to show for your exploration station? No, but I'll go get them all. we should talk about that. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so to start learning how to brioche, I uh, purchased the bandana cowl. I'm gonna look that up to make sure. Brioche bandana cowl. Like that. So I've done this much. I'm using my yarn that Willow and Wool so kindly gifted us, um, which is the colored one. And then I picked up some of the Malabrigo extra bulky yarn. I forget the color Oh, that looks amazing. That looks so cool. It does. So it's striping, just like how your, your scheme striped. Yeah, that's right. This is striping. And then I love the reverse effect of this too. Oh, cool. It's because you can wear it. It's reverse. <laughs> I don't want to pull my stitches off. There we go. So oh, look at that. I'll probably wear it that way. Yeah. With the peekaboo colors coming through. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. I'm just so, about to switch it up. Like if you're wearing a darker yeah, sweater or whatever. That's true. You can wear the bright colors or vice versa. Oh, how soft it is. Oh, that's so soft. Amazing. And it's so squishy. So wow. you start this brioche by doing it in the round. And then I kind of got stumped because now I have to do, it's a bandana, so I have to do the triangle down the front. Oh, okay. So now I have to work brioche in the flat, which is what I need to learn anyways for the exploration right. station shawl. But <laughs> I'm scared now to fall, I, I just find the directions are a little bit tricky if you don't know how to brioche. So oh. I just have to bite the bullet yep. and hope that I can do it, I mean. Put in a lifeline. I guess I could put in a lifeline, hey? Yeah, I would. Yeah. Because it takes some of the stress out, right? These brioche stitches, you have to kind of know which ones to... I don't even know how to explain brioche. I'm just slowly figuring it out. So it took a couple of starts and tries with this. Rip it back yeah. out. But yeah, so hopefully by next podcast I'll have this and I just have to jump in. Yeah, just do it. Do it. Because then it'll probably fly really fast. So I'm yeah. sure it will. It's beautiful. That's, so beautiful. It's going to be nice and chunky. And I love this so, fun. so that's been fun so yeah so I wanted to get some practice in yeah that's great I 
haven't done any yet. My next maybe, two patterns are going to be brioche. And maybe you don't even have to practice. I don't know, but I just... Well, it was either that or just, like, jump in and do the whole exploration station, and I'm not. I can't yet till the beginning of July. Yes. I've already done a little bit, but I can't do any more. Okay. So, my next work in progress... I need some bigger project bags. I only have one. I need to sew some because this really is too small. This is housed in my bunny and toot bag that we got at the Edmonton Fiber Frolic. I love it. So funny. So I cast it on the washed out shawl by Hohi oh, Locatelli. Beautiful. Yeah, that's definitely too small of a bag. <laughs> it's way too small. It doesn't even have the third skein of yarn in it. Oh, wow. Because um, I saw Yarn Inks washed out shawl and vivid mm -hmm. stunning love like them. they're just beautiful yeah love them so i didn't even i honestly didn't know about this shawl <laughs> i hadn't even really noticed it on like when it came out like it's not no, too old I didn't of a either. pattern but didn't really notice it and then when i saw them on display on yarn inks and vivid's display I was like, what pattern is that you need it yeah it's beautiful so yeah anyway so my colors the first color is a little tip. I'm doing it in this yarn ink colorway. I'm sorry, I don't remember the name. It was Canyon or something, wasn't it? Oh yeah, maybe it's Canyon. What is going on here? Okay. And then my second color, that's gonna go in the middle. This is Nava by Yarn Ink. Mm -hmm. And then I needed a third color. So I went to Stash to see what they had for Yarn Ink. And the color that I was wanting was Stone by Yarn Ink, but it was in a kit. So I begged Christine, hi Christine if you're watching <laughs> at Stash, if she would mind breaking into one of the packages, <laughs> that, of Yarning's packages, because she had said that Yarning was coming that night to replace some of her stock. So like, please, just tell, I think it's Andrea, right? Alicia. Alicia, just blame it on me. So she said, okay. So this is Stone oh, by Yarning. Beautiful. Oh, that's so be pretty. pretty. Yeah. So that's the really lacy part at the bottom. This is going to be the end. Yeah, there's a big wide band of lace at the bottom. Yeah, you can show it. Because I want it to be just a solid color to really show off that lace, right? Yeah. So I think it's going to be really just a nice blend. Yeah, it's so pretty. Colors. That's beautiful. I have yarn for that one too, but. I, oh, well, I cast it I on the tracks. other day and I showed Becky my progress and she said, Isn't that a cow that we're going to be starting? <laughs> Is it? Well, Jocelyn said it was. Jocelyn told us it was. Jocelyn wants to do all the cows. Do all the cows. So, I'm, yeah. Sorry, Jocelyn. Sorry, Jocelyn. If it's supposed to be cow, I missed that memo as we were probably purchasing way too much yarn or something. But Oh, yeah. We bought yarn for how many shells that day? Yeah. So, this is we my can't progress do that so far. So, look at that color. Isn't that mustard gorgeous? That's amazing. And then I just introduced that Nava colorway to oh. blend it in. So pretty. Oh, that's fun. I'm so excited. It's been a Garter fun day. Garter and lace. Yeah, this is a lace mesh. pattern that you have to follow. It's not very complicated at all. So it looks simple. Just I thought overs. it was just going to be yarn overs, but. Oh, it's not? It's not. It's the S2KPs. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's really not nice. that hard. But nice. you know me, I hate purling, so there's a couple pearls in here. And... Uh oh. But now I'm on the garter stitch pig part, which I love because I'm a garter stitch pig. So. We're going to blend that in, then I do another lace section, and then I throw the second color in, do a huge chunk. Nice. And then add in the gray. That's so fun. It's been fun. I was just needing to cast on another shawl. Yeah. So let's see if I can fit all three in here now. I doubt it. Well, maybe. <laughs> okay, bunny and toot, let's see how much you can hold in this thing. Oh, maybe? There you go. Can I fit the pattern and in? And the pattern. Ooh. I didn't mean to print it in color. I felt bad wasting all the colored ink, but. But it's so pretty to look at. It is so pretty to look at. <laughs> okay. Okay, how many whips do you have left? Two? Mm, yeah. Okay, I'll show mine. No, not even really. Middle. No, I just have one more. So you show one. Okay. Then I can talk about my books. This at the is end. my exploration station colors. Oh, okay. All right, so I started. Um, Suzanne Summer put out a new pattern. It's called Slice of Light. And for, I'm not sure if she's, I'm sure she is still doing. Um, for every $5, I think, of the pattern, that, like when you purchase the pattern, $5 of it goes towards um, women's cancer research. So like 
ovarian cancer, breast cancer, cervical cancer. I think it's all of them, or just ovarian. I can't remember now. It could well it because be this just designer ovarian. had ovarian cancer, so mm-hmm. she had a rare form of it. Yeah. So that it could be. Ovarian. Yeah, the whole story's on there. Anyways, it's towards cancer research. So, which I'm fully on board with. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so I cast this on. She started a cal on June 22nd. So I cast mine on right away. So these are my colors. I need to get yarn for that. I stopped in at Yarn Twisters. My son had a, a soccer tournament in Okotoks, and Yarn Twisters is way down South Calgary. It's a brand new um, store that just opened. They just had their grand opening last weekend, which I didn't make it to, but it looked like a lot of fun. So anyways, I stopped in there, and I, sh- I didn't ask her name, and I should have. I feel bad that I didn't, but she was amazing helping. Like We were Aww. pulling skeins apart and winding them together to match these perfectly, So because this is mohair. So in the top part of the pattern, you hold the mohair and the yarn together, but then you also use the mohair in brioche, in two-color brioche, in the bottom part of the pattern. Oh. So it needed to match and contrast at the same time. So yeah. yeah, so it was perfect. But this just these colors just blended together. There's these really dark speckles in this. This is a sweet Georgia yarn, and so just the way these two blend together, it just turned out amazing. And then this is Vivid Yarns, and her like it just has just enough yellow in there that it matches great but I think it's going to be a fantastic contrast too yeah I love it so then (laughs) you can sneak through go ahead (laughs) so this is my progress so far and it's a it's a reversed stockinette pattern so it's really like it's all rolled up I can help you but this is my progress so is it a lot of purling like are you it's it's knitting and purling back and forth. So you're doing... Oh, that's true. So one side would... Yeah, half and half. Yeah, it's about half and half. So it's really not bad because it's not just straight purling all the way across. That's nice. It's like you knit a bunch, then you purl a bunch. So it's not... this is It just flies off the needles. Like it's knitting up so fast. Nice. So this is the, the two colors held together. So both the... Like it's two strands. And I'm just... Like it's so soft. It's very and soft. It's thick. That's a thicker mohair than what I've been using. Yeah, it's a lace weight, so but it's yeah. I see my mohair. Maybe I have the wrong, the wrong mohair. Maybe Anyways. I don't know. Anyways, so it looks really Beautiful. pretty. I want to cast this on too. So I have a little bit, a little bit more to do to stretch this out wider, and then this is the top part of the triangle, and then I'll add this color in on the bottom and do some brioche. This matches so. my. Oh look at that <laughs> prairie fiber. <laughs> Oh, how pretty. We should yeah, trade bags. We should. <laughs> I'll I'll in my... Actually, maybe not. I'll never see this bag again. <laughs> I won't say no to a fringe supply bag. Uh, so, I saw... But it's actually been really handy because inside the fringe bag, it has these grommets oh. in a pocket. So I put my yarn wow. through so that as I'm pulling the two separate pieces, the balls don't get mixed up inside and the yarn doesn't get tangled. It keeps wow. them it keeps them pulling nicely oh, through. That's awesome. So it's actually been really it's been really handy. Nice. I am quite liking it. So I haven't I haven't used that part of the bag yet before for a project because I've never this is the first time I've ever done one where I knit with two strands at the same time. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so it's working really well. It's keeping they're not tangling at that's all. That's good. Which has been really nice because that's a huge pain when you're constantly yeah. stopping and untangling your yarn in the bag. It really is. So, yeah. But working with mohair is definitely different. I've been covered in <laughs> hair. Oh so. Okay, we'll wait till you see this mohair. Look how thin it is compared oh, to my yours. Goodness. Yeah. Okay, so I did another cast it's on. It's fuzzier. It's very fuzzy. I wonder what kind it is. Do you have the tag? It's Knit Picks Mohair, so whatever the Knit Picks one is. Oh, okay. So I decided to cast on um, my Penguono. Ooh, there you go. By Stephen West. I love his pictures. They're so fun. <laughs> He's so fun to watch. He's just cra- I could never dress like that. It's just crazy, but... He's brilliant, though. Right? Like, He's so fun to, to watch. Brilliant. and yeah. yeah. So I guess, like, here's another idea of what... It kind of does like the layout of it roughly. And so, here's another picture. So I'm really wanting to use a bunch of my scraps and stash and yep. whatnot to do this. 
But if anyone has done a penguono, please let me know what size needles you've used because he calls for a size six. Oh, I should show you. I won an open house prize or at Willow and Wool. So this is Sassy, Sassy, Sassy strings. strings yarn, yeah. And so I won a skein of her yarn and I knew right away that I wanted this to kind of be the back focal point of the penguono because there's just so many different colors and speckles in here and then I can just kind of grow off from that with my penguono. And then I'm carrying that with a strand of mohair. So it calls for bulky, well, okay. His samples he did, he did in chunky, bulky weight. Okay. Calls for a size six, six, size ten and a half inch needle, or ten and a half size needle. So, but for a medium size penguono or a large, you use DK weight. So I was carrying, that's why I have two skeins. I am carrying two strands of this, one strand of the mohair. So I've started this, which I'm absolutely loving the color so that's much. That's so pretty. So... But now I'm thinking it's too holy. Like, I'm thinking I need to go down. Like, you want it to be a bit denser? I think so. So, and he doesn't really give needle sizes for, he says knit to gauge. But even then, I, I don't really understand that either because DK gauge is going to be different. Well, did you do a swatch? No. So you need to do a swatch because then you can know how many stitches you need per inch. Because if you're going to go down a needle size, then you need to know how many more to cast on to get your right size. Right? Because it's the number of stitches per inch that tells you how much you need to cast on and how big you need to make it. So then I change the cast on size? Yes. So if you go down a needle, then you need oh. to, um, yeah, you'll need to do a swatch because then you measure and you know how many stitches are in each inch because it's size, right? So then you get the right size and the right number of stitches for that size. But then how would I know how... Okay, I guess it's we can math. talk about it. We'll talk about it after. <laughs> but yes. I don't get it. I just cast on what he cast it on. Yeah. Yeah, so maybe I need... Yeah, so if I go down... So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to frog this and go down, which I really love this lime green with this color, even though this is, you have to do a provisional cast on, so this is just my scrap yarn. Mm -hmm. But I'm definitely going to be throwing in some crazy green because That's I think fun. it looks really pretty. So the other thing that you need to think about is you're not going to be blocking this out, no. right? This is a huge, so it's not going to be stretched out. But even like this, it's still holy. Okay. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, and then their finished size is they say, like a medium, I think you have to have a, Chest circumference for medium is 48 inches. So I'm like, is that 48 inches using DK weight? Mm -hmm. Is that 48 inches, like if I'm 48 inches around, I should do medium or is that? No, that's how big the medium is. So if you knit the medium, the finished size is going to be 48 inches. But then using what size needle? Whatever okay. size the pattern calls for. Ah, my mother-in-law. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. Anyways, we'll talk about it after. I'm confused. I'm confused. It's going to be big. It, and it's supposed to be big, but I'm going to be frogging this, recasting on. I think I'm going to try five and a half size yeah, needle. Just go down a size. Yeah. Because, like, they're very baggy on. Like, they're super baggy. They are huge. Yeah. So it just depends on how big you want it. So I'm kind of thinking of just doing what he did for his size in a five and a half and then just ch taking my chances. Yeah, you can try it. Is it top down or bottom up? It doesn't even say. <laughs> so because this penguono, how it's meant is that you can wear it one way and then apparently you can flip it upside down and wear it another way. So you would just have like a big shawl collar. Yeah, even though none of these pictures show a shawl collar, that's why I'm confused by it. But you apparently can flip it upside down. Well, just maybe how big the sleeves are, it doesn't really make a difference. Yeah, because like here's one. So it doesn't show a shawl collar, but I think he's wearing this upside down. It makes it longer. And then if he flips it the other way, it's just shorter. I don't know how it's flippable. Weird. But I think it's going to be fun because it's really it scrappy, like how you build it. Oh, my mother-in-law. I have to tell her we're podcasting. 
I don't think Carolyn, we're podcasting. I don't think it's giving it away because it's on. You can see these pictures, but see how they kind of build the pattern. Like you just do these different blocks and kind of build it up. Oh, okay. Great. It's but I love it because it is like patchwork. To me, it looks yeah. like it, and I love quilting and it's kind yeah. of patchworky and I want to use my scraps and I want to message my mother-in-law because <laughs> um, she keeps calling. They're taking Grace to the Incredibles movie, so she's probably calling about that. So, yeah. So, that's that. Cool. Can you take off? Okay. <laughs> so, starting July 1st, we are doing our Across the Prairies Cal with Cozy Up Knits and um, Northern Knits Podcast and A Tale of Two Knitters. So, there's four podcasters that are all together. We're all... All four of us are doing a knit along, so you can knit the Exploration Station by Stephen West, and you can join all four of us. We all have prizes that we'll be giving away, so you can quadruple dip. Yes. So, so we'll show our colors. I haven't wound my skeins yet because someone had my ball winder, didn't tell me it came in. I had to order a new one because I broke my other one. So. These are my colors from Ginger Snap. These three. Awesome. And then my black that I just found in my scrap bin. That's perfect. Will be, yeah. So those are my colors. So I need to get those wound up so that on Sunday after the parade, I can come home and cast on my exploration station. Watch the Stephen West exploration station Tutorial. cast on. Yeah. So if you just search mm -hmm. Stephen West exploration station, it'll come up with how he cast it on. It's awesome. Yeah, I'll do that for sure. I'll show you my colors. So I'm doing this flaming fluorescent orange. It's gonna be the brightest I'll ever. Like everyone just get your shades out when Heather goes out with her exploration station on because <laughs> you are going to need to. So these are my four colors. So They're fun. all hedgehog fibers. And then I'm gonna throw on this pop of purple as well. That's fun. Da, da, da. Wow. Yeah. So we are so excited. Awesome. So that's yeah. yeah. So people yeah. are already posting pictures on the across the prairies cal on it's the hashtag on Instagram mm -hmm. across the prairies cal. Yeah. You just need four colors. Yeah. So or five. Like you can add like that's yeah, what you I'm can doing. Because do. I just kind of felt like as great as this was. Maybe I need to add like a pop of why not girliness, right? Yeah, Girl. it's lots of. If you look at the pattern, it's lots of short rows and back and forth, and then this oh, one I picture of the pattern. This one dark color kind of divides each section as it like it swoops across. It's a crescent shape, and so you could make it a total scrappy shawl if you yeah. wanted. Like each band of color across there could be a different color if you wanted. You can even introduce another color. This is all brioche in here. So you could introduce another pop of color with the brioche from one of your other wedges. Yeah. You could change the color of the chevron. It doesn't have to be in the black. It could be in one of your other colors. Like Yeah, you can really, I think this is one that you can really personalize yeah. and make it your, your colors. I think it's going to be, it's going to be fun. I'm excited. So we're going to carry it right through the summer. And yeah, I think till the end of September. I Probably the end of September, yeah. I think so. I think that's what Jamie's been saying too on the podcast. So, And yes. that's, yeah, totally fine with us because it's a big shawl. Like it, This is a big shawl. Yeah, and for people who haven't done brioche before, you're going to need yeah. some time to figure it out. And, and rip it out and try again, rip it out and try again, like how probably I will be. Like us, yeah. We're going to be, <laughs> this is a new, so this is kind of a step out of our comfort zone, but... Yes. I'm super excited. It's going to be fun. So. I'm just suddenly wanting to do all the Stephen West things just to <laughs> challenge myself. And, and yeah, it's I great. love playing with color. Yes, this isn't something I wear on a regular basis, but you know what? Who cares? Just try some, go out of your comfort zone even. Like try oh, definitely. some new exciting colors. Yeah. It's going to be fun. Yeah, so, so we have a, our one prize, Crinkle Crinkle Time, was donated by Creek Garden Crafts. So she has two full skeins of her cotton so pretty a stitch marker and then a pattern so yeah. it's the drop them she did a collaboration with cozy up knits so it's their drop them like a hot pattern and then the two skeins and there's a little button in there there's a stitch marker stitch in marker there. in there with her card yeah and then uh, a hard copy of the pattern so that's one prize we have 
Thanks, Penny. Thank you so much, Penny. Yeah, yeah she dropped it off the door the other day, and I missed her. I was at work, but those colors, like, look at that. That's just, oh, it's so pretty. So fun. So yeah, so I won't enter our cow, but I will be entering the other cows. Yeah. And then, so all the other podcasters that have, are doing Definitely. this cow, enter in ours. Yeah. You can win, because I know Penny also kindly donated, I think it's, it might be this, I don't know if it's quite the same kit, but it's very similar to the Tale of Two Knitters podcast, so oh, okay. that's going to their prizes as well. Nice. And then, yeah, we'll add another prize in. Yeah, we'll have some bags yet, or, but, yeah, maybe some patterns. We'll probably have a few different prizes. Cause yeah, we'll show them off throughout the summer, some more prizes, and then, yeah. yeah, if anyone else wants to donate prizes, just message us and let us yeah, know. Yeah, let us know. Um, yeah, it's going to be. I'm, I'm excited. so excited. I'm, I'm very so excited. excited about that. And then, so I think that a lot of my other projects will kind of be yep. Once pushed this aside because it's fun to just knit with everybody the mm -hmm. same shawl. So that'll be my big project. But yeah, for sure. I had to wait. So I was just casting on all these other new yeah, other things to keep yourself busy. New projects. Yeah. <laughs> so it'll be fun. And mm -hmm. then maybe I'll finish off that and have the brioche bandana and have it as a bow. We're not sure when we're podcasting next. It could be a week from now. It could be. Two weeks from now, we're not sure. We're going to try and get one yeah. in before Becky goes and volunteers. I'm going for... with my kids to camp for the week, so I'm excited. They never grow up. No. <laughs> I think I'm as excited as they are to Probably. go. Probably. <laughs> That's nice. Because so, Becky always went to this camp growing up as well. So Yeah, growing up, and then I worked for 10 years. Met my brother there, so mm -hmm. that's how they hooked up. Summer yes. camp romance. That's right. <laughs> so... <laughs> What else? Yeah. So I just want to share. Oh, I wish you some book talk. Yes, mm -hmm. book talk. I have been reading, finally. So I think I showed you guys these way back when I bought them, but I didn't actually pick it up and read it until just recently. So um, this is Everless by Sarah Holland. And so these are all YA fiction, like young adults or teen. teen Why? Fiction, it's young adult probably. fiction. Yeah. yeah. Young adult. So mm -hmm. they're. We love young adult fiction. Oh, it's so fun. So they're kind of like fantasy, far out there type stories. So this was a fantastic read. Disclaimer, it is the first book of a series and the next one is not out yet. So just so you know. <laughs> she warned me because I'm going to take some of these home. You will be today. waiting. So this was a fantastic book. I loved it. This one, however, was phenomenal. I read I'm this excited. one. So I read her, Marissa Meyer. She She's wrote, so nice. oh yeah, on the back here. So she wrote the Lunar Chronicles, which are these Jenny, books Jenny, this here. is one I was telling you about. Jenny mm -hmm. from Tillow to Knitters. This is a series you got to get. And Faking Sanity. We were talking to, oh, yes. to them about it too. So these are the books. So read this series, loved them. My daughter read them, loved them. So then when this book came out, I was like, well, of course I loved her book. So I'll read this one. My daughter picked it up and read this in like two days. Ooh. She's a bookworm she is. she really is she yeah. devours books so she's been harassing me she's like are you ready yet mom are you ready yet mom oh, okay. so I'm I finally picked read. it up and yeah my sister was here staying with me last week and I may have been reading instead of talking to her a fair bit but <laughs> she understands because she used to do that to me all the time as a kid she would I would have to hide Which her books sister? Beth oh and now she's a librarian so I would have to go. hide her books so that she actually had to play with me yeah <laughs> she was too busy reading <laughs> She's a librarian, so, so I'm sure she understands. Now she's a librarian, yes. Yeah. So she does fully understand. So, and then this one I just picked up the other day at Chapters. Mm. So it's the final book in a series. Um, Victoria Aviard. I know I can't see because of the sticker on the front. So this is the third book. So I just picked it up and started reading it. I'm trying to remember because the first two um, I read quite a while ago. So is I'm it hard to jump to... into this one? Um, not too bad. A lot of it's coming back. They're kind of playing something like reminding us of things, but I, I might try and see if I can find a synopsis somewhere that I can read just to kind of refresh, my refresh memory. my memory a little bit because yeah. it's been quite a while, but I'm excited to read that one. So cool. that's my next summer's my big reading time. I sit outside with the kids. Well, my boys always want to go to the skate park and yeah. do these things outside. So I just like to pick up a book to take with me and that's or perfect. knit. Or knit. So, yeah. yeah. That's why I don't have quite as much knitting content. Because I've been reading. That's okay. Which that's, is okay. That's good. Yeah. I've been listening to this audiobook, Turtles All the Way Down, by John Green. So, I've been really liking it. Yeah? Yeah. I wasn't sure what... It's another young adult fiction, but I've been hearing good things mm -hmm. about it. So, so far, so good. I'm really He's enjoying it. He's got lots of books, isn't he? John oh, yeah. Green? 
Yeah. Uh, I think he did Fault in Our Stars. Oh, okay, that's the one. I'm like, I know I recognize yeah, that name. Yeah, he's the author of Fault in Our Stars. Okay. So I've been listening to that one. I'm almost done. I have two more chapters left, and then I'm done. So that's been a fun audiobook to listen to. And as far as reading, oh, I did some cross-stitching. Forgot to oh, bring fun. that, but I was working on my sampler. So nice. So I did some of that. That's good. Yeah, and I think that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. Nice. Oh, my phone today. I'm sorry. Turn your ringer off. Oh, the kids did really good. They did. Nine they kids were noisy, in this house, and but... how many did you notice? I think that our girls just came for just a quick little... They did. Well, they, they needed the Wi-Fi password. Yeah, and that's important. Because <laughs> we hide it in our liquor cabinet, apparently. <laughs> you got to have those. I'm sorry. When you have six children, I can just, like, girlfriend, you should be drinking right now that instead of coffee. <laughs> I don't know I'm home it. alone all day, so I better not. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be the responsible one. Yeah, no, that's good. She's a good mama. I'm a good mama. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, so anything I else? I guess probably not. Uh, no, I think that's it. I'm glad we could get together. I know. And yeah. It's been crazy. I Thanks don't think to... I've seen you since we podcasted last. I know. It's awful. Oh, we saw it. oh, no, I didn't see you on Sunday. Nope. Our sons had a soccer tournament. I football thought I was going to, sorry, football tournament. I thought I was going to see you there, but. No, I, I saw was her at son, a, but not her. I was at a Sundance. She went to a powwow. No, it was Sundance. <laughs> oh, is it different? No, okay. it is different. I should know this. Yeah, it's different. Oh, okay. So. Yeah. But did she get her she original got her, name? Her so Cree name, yeah. This it's, is her three-year-old. Mm-hmm. Yes, her Cree name. I can't say it in Cree, but it means prairie chicken flyer. <laughs> Which, if you knew her and saw her, it's actually really fitting because I wonder how she's, they come up with that. They, on the spot, they pray over the kids in this big wow. tent thing. The elders pray over them and they, they hear a name as they're praying and then they speak it over the kids. It's actually, it was really, really fascinating. I was. Yeah, it is. It's an amazing culture. Yeah. Like, how, yeah. The culture how is phenomenal. Like yeah. the ceremonies and stuff that they have and everything has meaning and it was really, Prairie it was really cool. Prairie chicken flyer. Prairie chicken flyer. I wonder if she'll have an aversion now to chicken. <laughs> Maybe she won't want to eat chickens anymore. I hope not. We eat lots of chickens. We're in Alberta. We have Alberta steak, so we're it's true. Good. Okay. It's true. Oh, that's yes. sweet. So. She's a sweetie. She's yes. a sweet. It does suit her actually. She's a little tiny little spitfire of a thing. She and is, and yet she's everywhere. Like, doop, 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 and she doop. talks so good and so well. Yeah. So that's appropriate for like a clucking chicken. Yep. Yep. Yeah. That's it adorable. It it actually it suits her. Ah. Yeah, so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All well, right. until next time. So we'll be knitting our faces off here. Yeah. Get your colors. You have a few Get more days. Get your colors. Post your colors. Yeah. Please, on the Instagram love to see hashtag. them. Love so to see them. Cross the Prairie's Cal on yeah. Instagram. I'm following it. So I get to see all the notifications when something new comes up. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Post your colors. This yeah, is going to be fun because there's four different podcasters yep. who are hosting this with four different prizes. So mm -hmm. it's going to be fun. It's going to be good. We're excited. Yeah. So, yeah. So until right. next time, happy knitting. Happy knitting. Bye. Bye.